You're watching News Leader 9 with Cheryl Renee and meteorologist Greg Majeski. Here's a look at Columbus Park Crossing from our Alpha Insurance SkyCam at Ashley Furniture Home Store in Columbus. Temperature 75 degrees. Cloudy out there, yeah, though. Yeah, getting some filtered sunshine yeah. through there, enough to kind of warm us up a little bit. Uh, but definitely getting a, what I would call the case of the muggies. That's uh, <laughs> what we're definitely seeing for this the afternoon. Humidity, humidity is, going is coming up. up and yeah. uh, you kind of feel it that, uh, yeah, we may have to watch out for some weather. Right. So here's what's trending with our forecast. Cheryl, to take a look at what's going on. It makes, definitely a mix of clouds and sunshine, kind of that filtered sun kind of coming through. Uh, but not blocking it out completely. That's why things are continuing to warm up out there. Looking at that severe weather risk here for our area heading into Tuesday morning. That's round one. Could be another round potentially continuing to Wednesday. And then looks like sunshine returns for the weekend. Looks like a pretty good weekend in store, but the, the week, you definitely want to make sure you have the umbrella handy for the week ahead. Now, here's what the current severe weather risk is. The moderate indication back here in orange from Mississippi and Alabama. Yellow is the slight risk for everybody else. And this is predominantly for our area for tomorrow morning as we watch a, a developing squall line that will be moving our way. And, of course, with all the rain threat we're expecting this week, we've got numerous flood watches up for Alabama as well as Georgia. We've had a lot of rain this month, and we're going to throw some more additional heavier rain on top of that. So watch out for those low-lying areas that typically flood. Where is it going on currently? Well, we do have the watch boxes up, but you notice there's not a lot going on right now. This is kind of in advance of the daytime heating as they're anticipating the thunderstorms to flare up down here and start setting off severe weather down across Louisiana and Mississippi. Then eventually this will traverse into Alabama as we head into the late afternoon, into the early evening hours. That's the, well, the best time they'll see the severe weather in that part of the state. Now, looking at our current temperatures, we're at 75 degrees here in Columbus, 80 in Eufaula, 72 in Auburn. So it's getting kind of mild out there. Definitely a little juicier. Check out these readings back off toward the west. 80 degrees already into Montgomery, 75 in Birmingham. So we're getting the instability, adding the fuel to the fire as we're getting that dynamics, the spin in the atmosphere. Got this big area of rotation of low pressure up here. Think of this almost like a big pinwheel. And we're getting these little spokes of energy that are rotating around. So we're getting winds that are coming in this way. You're getting suddenly winds coming in this way. And then that's where you get the spin up. And that's what we're looking for, the potential for tornadoes across portions of Mississippi and Alabama later today. Look at this configuration of the jet stream. This is what we call a negative tilt. It's bending backward. And what that means is it adds even more spin to the atmosphere. That's why they had those tornadoes yesterday across Arkansas. And that's what we're anticipating for today. Notice this begins to shift off toward the east. Eventually, what this will mean is it's going to clear out, but it also means a couple of days of below normal temperatures as we head toward Thursday and Friday before this thing finally lifts up and we see things kind of return to more seasonable levels. Here's the forecast. Look at a future cast. Kick this into motion for you. Again, watching the squall line come through here for tomorrow morning. That's the best chance right now for weather. But notice it kind of gets hung up here. And we're we'll continuing to see thunderstorms flare up throughout the day on Wednesday, and that'll continue into Thursday as well as it starts to linger on and it starts to slowly get on out of here. But we may still may see a shower or two continuing for Thursday or Friday before we finally see some drier weather and sunshine later in the week. Here are some of the rainfall totals here for you. Check this out. Looking at a total rainfall for this event, upwards of three inches. That's a possibility. If we get that kind of rainfall around here on top of the eight we've already seen this month, flooding will be a possibility. So we'll be watching that very carefully. Breaking it down by the zones, here's the forecast for today. 86 in LaGrange, 85 in Pine Mountain. We'll keep a slight chance of a rain or a thunder shower in the forecast for today. Down here toward Columbus, 86 degrees. Pittsview at 89 degrees. Again, just a slight risk of a thunderstorm. And heading on to the south, we'll be getting close to 90. You fall at 89 degrees there. 87 over in Cuthbert and 85 in Americas. Checking out the next seven days. Here's how it's breaking down for us as we're going to see that rain chance really go up heading into tonight and toward tomorrow. And that'll continue into Wednesday as well. Then eventually it starts to dry a little bit with just some scattered showers around heading for Thursday and for Friday. And eventually a lot of sunshine. A great looking weekend ahead, but the week is looking wet. Keep the umbrella handy. Mm -hmm. And we want to remind people that if you're not near a television and you want to know about the weather, you can always use our WTV weather app. Always get the app. app. It's a great it's tool. It's a great tool if you mm -hmm. have a smartphone. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Well, the